Do you guys, you want to be my kids for one day? Uh, we could, we could. You guys come to my show, do kids for one day. Yeah, we'll be your kids. Or you watch my kids. Oh, that'd be nice. I'll pay you to watch my kids. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hola amigos, ¿cómo están? Mucho gusto. Bienvenidos a nuestro programa del día de hoy. Hoy tenemos a un súper, súper invitado, pero primero déjenme presentarme. Este, me llamo Cristian, soy del canal Coreano Vlogs. También tenemos a... Hola amigos, mi nombre es Hanel. Hoy les vamos a presentar a... Al señor famosísimo, famosísimo Ricky Kim. Él es actor, también ha, ha hecho películas, sale mucho en, la, en programas de televisión en Corea. Pero a ver si te podrías presentar. Hola. Me llamo Ricky. Soy de Corea. A ah, ver, es de Corea, es de Corea. Muy bien, muy bien. Pues sí, el día de hoy nos acompaña y él está haciendo un viaje por acá en México por unos ocho meses. Entonces, eh, ustedes pueden esperar más contenido con él en el futuro. Les vamos a hacer unas preguntas. You have been an actor in Korea, so could you tell us a little bit about that? Um, I've been acting in Korea for about, I think, 15 years. Uh, before that, uh, I was actually going to be a lawyer. So getting ready for law school, I just, I went to Korea to visit my family. I went to Korea to spend time with my grandma. I wanted to try to do something good for somebody. And I fell in love with Korea. I fell in love with being out there, with working in orphanages, working on outreaches. And the job of being an actor was just kind of an accident. Somebody had asked me if I wanted to try something, and I did it. I was horrible at it. And I was, I'm a perfectionist, so I tried to do it again, and I was bad at it. And then I tried it again, and I was getting better at it. And then I quit everything, went back to school, studied theater, and said, you know what, I really love to do this so that I, as an actor, you have an influence and a platform. And with that platform, I hope to do good with it. Share a voice, introduce people to things, teach people things. I think as an actor, or just as a human being, like the more experiences you have, the more interaction you can have with conversation with people. So it's through the TV shows, through the uh, entertainment TV shows, through uh, all the activities we do with the events, I get to meet a lot of people. I'm here in Mexico City uh, talking on a TV show live to all the fans out there in Latin America. Hola, I love you. <laughs> And um, I hope to just, you know, meet a lot of people out here too at the same, same time while we're doing a TV show or making any kind of contents, uh, having an influence to just to meet you guys. I was getting ready to go to church one day and I don't watch a lot of TV, but I was watching a TV show. It was called Dream Team. It's a sports show with actors going against athletes. Getting ready to go to church, putting on my clothes, getting ready to go. And I just got married and I watched the show and I, If I go out, I could win. My wife said, If you, you, you can't win those shows, those are really good athletes. So uh, I uh, called the director and the PD and I said, I want to go on a TV show. And that started my entire career in, uh, in Yen. Wow, okay, that, it's that easy. You just, just called him up. It really wasn't that easy because when I, when I called him, he's like, Do you dance? I was like, no. Do you sing? I was like, no. What are you going to do? Janky? What are you going to do? I was like, I can throw a football. <laughs> so on the very first episode ever on Dream Team, I was throwing a football. So on the very first episode ever on Dream Team, I just threw a football. Did you really? Yes. Wow. And from then on, the legend is set. Thank <laughs> <laughs> And right now, I've been so blessed with this last TV show we did, which is called uh, uh, Oh My Baby, which is a TV show about my family. It's been the biggest prized possession and blessing that I've had because I get to be me, not acting, on camera, to show all you guys about me and my kids. It's a very and intimate right? show. Very intimate. And it's at first it was hard to do because I was like, I don't want to be intimate. But now I'm just so blessed because I get to show the world uh, I love my wife, I love my kids and uh, we take them on great adventures. That's why we're here, we're on an adventure. Some of you might know my kids more than you know me. Uh, my kids had a, a fan club in, in China that was 10 times larger than my fan club. They're very popular. I go anywhere and like, hey, Ricky, and now it's, hey, aren't you uh, Tete's father? Father, yeah, you're known as their father. I'm known as Tete's father, so, but I, I love him, I love my kids. No, that, that is very interesting. Yeah, someday, you guys. Yeah, someday I will. Someday we're gonna have a TV show about you and our kids. You kids. You guys, you want to be my kids for one day? Uh, we could, we could. You guys come to my show, we do kids for one day. Yeah, we'll be your kids. Or you watch my kids. Oh, that'd be nice. I'll pay you to watch my kids. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you pay? No, I'm good with kids. <laughs> you guys heard it. They're gonna come watch my kids for one day. You guys watch it, they're gonna come for one day. 
Have you seen Mexican TV programs? Are you familiar with them? Yeah, a little bit, right? Um, what do you think might be different, uh, Mexican TV versus Korean TV? There's way more skinship on Mexican TV. Yeah, yeah more more skinship like this. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. So the Mexican dramas, there's so much love. I'm I grew up uh, in a very touchy family. Um, in Korea, the love doesn't happen until episode three, <laughs> and then it happens again in episode seven, and then they break up in the triangle. Yeah. So I mean, there's a lot, a lot more, a lot more. Um, I think this, the, the emotion is a little more extreme in in, uh, in uh, Latin TV uh, than in Korean TV. If you were to, um, let's say, make a new TV program here in Mexico, what kind of TV program would you make? Let's say, I'm in the business of telling stories. And for movies, we'd write stories, we make stories. If I and when I come to anything now, I want to tell a true story. A true story of what exactly I'm doing, I'm breathing, I'm seeing, I'm touching, I'm eating, I'm feeling. And I like to be interacting with the people that are wow. fans, people that are also people that are doing the same thing as me. To have open collaboration to, um, I know this sounds very general, but I think there needs to be better content. Really family, family build content, creative content, fun content that's entertaining but then you can really learn from it. You can really be passionate about what being a good person, being a good father, a good a good son, a good daughter, in general, just making the world a better place. It sounds vague, but uh, I'm gonna try to do that. So in Mexico, I'm gonna try to do a family TV show and just travel around and really just uh, uh, bless people while they're blessing us. I'm gonna eat some good food. I'm gonna go to some amazing attractions. We're gonna put, to, put an event together to see our fans. I'm gonna have him watch my kids. I'm gonna have him watch my kids. I'm gonna go out on a date on my wife. We're gonna just really do some amazing activities, learn about culture, learn about language. We're gonna really try to just, uh, there's people that need help. We're gonna go try to help some people. We need help. We're gonna get some help from people. I'm gonna maybe learn how to cook some Spanish food, Mexican food. I'm gonna learn how to, uh, I don't know, uh, jump off a cliff, swim, surf, there's a lot of things you can do in Mexico. I've seen so much yet, I've heard I've seen nothing. I've heard there's so much to do around here and it's honestly, everything's 10 minutes away. So I love that everything is 10 minutes away. So I hope that you guys are 10 minutes away and that we can see all of you soon while they watch my kids. Yeah. <laughs> for all the Latin fans out there, for Tete family, um, for uh, Ricky Kim, uh, a lot of you have seen some of our, our dramas, some of our uh, TV shows, and a lot of you are now going to be introduced into who, who we are, who I am. I'm a father of three and a husband of one. We're going to be in Latin America for, I think, for the next year. We're traveling all around. We're hopefully we can do some fan events, some outreaches. At the same time, we're going to film everything. We're going to be interacting with a lot of the people out there. We would hope to invite some of you to come join us uh, on part of the activities. Teach us how to cook, teach us how to have fun, Teach some of your culture, because uh, Latin America is now a big part of who we are. Um, I'd love to, the next time we do this interview, I'd like to do it in Spanish. I'm going to try hard to uh, learn how to speak Spanish because uh, I'm going to have him come to my house and teach me. So um, prepare to watch the episodes, um, come in here and tell your friends about uh, Goods TV and what they're doing out here, and uh, we hope to see you guys soon. Bueno, pues acá vamos a terminar nuestro, este, nuestra entrevista con Ricky Kim. La verdad estoy muy agradecido que, que haya salido en el show. Pues sí, acá me despido. Este, muchas gracias por vernos hasta el final. Recuerden suscribirse al canal de Goods TV. Eh, déjenos sus comentarios a ver si quieren ver como algún contenido en el futuro, ¿verdad? Sí, de todas, no se pueden perder todas las aventuras que vamos a tener con Ricky Kim. Entonces, suscríbanse a todas nuestras redes sociales y síganos. Y pues bueno, amigos, este fue un gustazo. Eh, yo soy Cristian de Canal Coreano Vlogs. Mi nombre es Hanel. Y pues bueno, acá nos despedimos. Cuídense mucho y nos vemos en el próximo video. Bye. Gracias.